Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh to Sir Zaki and all viewers who watch this video through the YouTube channel. So today we will present an interesting topic entitled Application of Optical Fiber in Medical Field to fulfill the scope of our PHY 534 Physics with an Optic Scoring in this uh, second semester. So before that, I will introduce the members of uh, my group today. So our group consists of three members. We have me, Muhammad Sazam bin Rakim as the first presenter. No Shafi Kadulia and Siti Adina Na Fazana as the second and third presenter. So let's start this application of optical fiber in medical field presentation casually and concisely. So optical fiber. What is optical fiber? Optical fiber, also known as fiber optic cable or optical communication cable, is a type of thin, flexible, and transparent cable made of high quality glass or plastic fiber. It is designed to transmit light signal over long distance with minimal loss and distortion. The the core of an optical fiber is made of a highly transparent material surrounded by a cladding layer which is slightly lower reflective index to facilitate total internal reflection. The purpose of optical fiber is to transmit information in form of the light pulse. It serves as a medium to carrying optical signal over long distance, replacing, this, replacing traditional copper based communication system. The primary use of optical fiber is in telecommunication where it is forming the backbone of modern high-speed data transmission network including the internet. Optical fiber are used intensively in long-haul communication network such as undersea cable and terrestrial fiber optic link. They provide high bandwidth, low signal attenuation and resistance to electromagnetic interference making them ideal, to, ideal for transmitting uh, large volume of data over long distance. In addition to telecommunication, optical fiber have found application in various fields, including medical field and also data networking. In general, the type of optical fiber is determined depending on the number of modes of propagation. So we can classify the type of optical fiber into two types. Uh, first, single mode fiber and second, multi mode fiber. If only one mode is transmit through an optical fiber, then the optical fiber is known as a uh, single mode fiber. Its core diameter is small in order of a few times of wavelength of light. The single mode fiber must be used along the laser diodes. It can support only one mode of propagation. If more than one mode is transmitted through the optical fiber, then the optical fiber is known as uh, multi mode fiber. The large core ready of multi mode fiber makes it easier to large light into the fiber. It can support a number of modes. Application of optical fiber in medical field include laser surgery, optical coherence tomography OCT, and photodynamic therapies PDT. Laser surgery, also known as laser-assisted surgery, refers to surgical procedures where lasers are used to perform precise cutting, pulverization, or tissue ablation. Optical fibers serve as a beam to deliver the laser energy from the laser source to the surgical side. The laser beam is coupled into optical fibers and it travels along the length of the fiber until it reaches the tip. The fiber optic cable acts as a conduit to the laser energy allowing it to be directed precisely to the target tissues. Here's how optical fibers are involved in laser surgery. It are used to transmit the laser beam to the laser source to the surgical type. The laser energy is coupled into the fiber and delivered to a flexible fiber optic cable which allows the surgeon to direct laser energy precisely to the target tissues. Different types of optical fibers can be used depending on specific surgical application. For example, bare fibers are used for cutting and vaporization, while fibers or tips or diffuser may be used for cold alkylation or for the chemical interaction. Optical fibers enable the use of minimally invasive technique. In laser surgeries, this can be inserted through small incision or natural body opening, reducing the needs for larger surgical incision. Laser energy delivered through optical fibers allows surgeons to precisely control the depth and extent of tissue interaction. This level of precision enables delicate procedures such as ophthalmic surgeries, dermatological procedures, and microsurgeries. What are the benefits of laser surgeries using optical fibers? The benefits are it provides precise and control tissue interaction, thus minimizing damage to surrounding healthy tissues. It also allows for minimally invasive procedures, resulting in smaller incision, reducing scarring, and faster recovery times for patient. Laser energy can seal blood vessels during the surgery, thus reducing bleeding and the need for additional structures or cauterization. Other than that, due to the current cauterizing effects of the laser on tissues, laser surgery is often associated with reduced risk of infection. Other than that, laser surgery can be used in various medical specialties including ophthalmology, dermatology, urology, gynecology, and otolaryngology. However, it, is, it also has some limitations and disadvantages. Crosswise, laser system and associated equipment is costly, making them less accessible in certain healthcare settings. Other than that, 
laser surgery is required specialized training and experience to effectively use, effectively use laser technology and interpret tissues response during the procedure. While laser surgery is applicable to a wide range of procedure, there are limitations to its use in certain cases that may require alternative me surgical methods. The second application of optic fiber in medical is photodynamic therapy PDT. What is photodynamic therapy PDT? PDT is a medical treatment that utilizes a combination of photosensitive drugs and light to destroy the targeted cells or tumor. It is primarily used in the treatment of cancer, but it also finds application in the treatment of certain non-cancerous conditions such as age-related muscular degeneration, AMD, and skin disorder. Here's how optical fiber are involved in the photodynamic therapy. First, the light delivery. Optical fiber is used to deliver light of a specific wavelength to the targeted area. The photosensitive drug, which has been administered to the patients, is activated by the light. The fiber optic cables allow precise and controlled delivery of the light to the treatment site. Secondly, the light dosimetry. Optical fiber is also enable the measurement and control of the light dosage during the photodynamic therapy. The fiber-based sensor can monitor the intensity and the duration of the light exposure, ensuring that the appropriate therapeutic dose is delivered. There are pros and cons of using photodynamic therapy. The benefits of photodynamic therapy using optical fiber include Selective treatment. Photodynamic therapy selectively target disease or abnormal cells while minimizing the damage to the healthy surrounding tissues. This position is particularly advantageous in the cancer treatment where preserving healthy tissue is crucial. Secondly, minimally invasive. Pot optical fiber can be inserted to the body through small incision or natural body openings, enabling minimally invasive procedure and reducing patient discomfort. Third, localized treatment. Optical fiber allows localized treatment, concentrating the therapeutic effects in a specific area being treated while sparring edges and healthy issues. Fourth, reduced side effects. Compared to the traditional cancer treatment like chemotherapy and radiotherapy, photodynamic therapy has fewer systemic side effects since it primarily affects the treatment area. The last Advantage is versatility. Photodynamic therapy can apply to the various types of cancer including skin, lungs, and a certain type of head and neck cancer. It can also be used in the non-cancerous conditions such as like AMD and acne. Advantages and limitations of photodynamic therapy using optical fiber include Firstly, the limited tissue penetration. The type of penetra light penetration is restricted and thus the treatment is the most effective for the superficial or localized tumor. Deep seated tumor may require alternative treatment approaches. Secondly, the photosensitivity. Patients undergoing photodynamic therapy must avoid exposure direct to the sunlight or bright light for a certain period of time since the photodynamic drugs can cause a skin sensitivity. Third, multi multimodal treatment. In some cases, photodynamic therapy may be used in combinations of other treatment modalities such as surgery, radiation, or chemotherapy to receive the best therapeutic outcome. The third application of optical fiber in medical field is optical coherence tomography OCD. Optical coherence tomography OCD is a non-invasive imaging technique that uses light waves to generate high-resolution cross-section image of biological tissues. It provides detailed structural information about tissue at the microscopic level, similar to ultrasound imaging but using light instead of sounds. Just how optical fiber uh, involved in optical coherence tomography OCD and its relevance in the medical field. So, firstly, the light delivery. Optical fiber are used to deliver the light beam from the OCT system to the tissue being imaged. Um, the light is split into two parts, one directed towards the tissue and the other towards the reference mirror. The reflected light from both parts uh, combine to create interference patterns, which is analyzed to generate the imaging data. Secondly, fiber optical probes. So, optical fiber are integrated into miniature probes that can be inserted into various parts of the body, depending on the application. This probe allows clinicians to perform OCT imaging in different medical specialties. Thirdly, high resolution image. So, the use of optical fiber in OCT enables high resolution imaging of tissue with exceptional details. This level of resolution allows for early detection and diagnosis of diseases, precise characterization of tissue structure, and monitoring the disease progression and treatment response. But in non invasive and real time imaging, OCT is non invasive imaging model modality that does not require ionizing. And ionizing radiation and contrast agent. The real time imaging capability of OCT provides immediately visualization of tissue structure, aiding in intraoperative guidance and improving diagnosis efficiency. So, benefit of optical coherence tomography OCT using optical fiber includes 1. Yearly diseases detection. OCT can detect sub change in 
uh, tissue morphology, allowing for the early detection of diseases like retinal disorder, cardiovascular condition, and certain cancer. Two, precision and accuracy. The high resolution and detailed imaging provided by OCT facilitated precise mean, um, measurement of tissue thickness, identification of abnormalities, and origins for surgical procedure. And thirdly, minimally invasive. OCT is the minimally invasive technique, particularly, particularly when using fiber optic probes, reducing patient discomfort and recovery times. But the, this application also have the disadvantage and limited of optical coherence tomography OCT using optical fiber includes one limited depth of penetration OCT has limited penetration depth compared to other imaging modalities using ultrasound it is the best suite for imaging superficial tissue of structure close to the uh, surface to cost OCT system can be costly making them less accessible uh, in certain healthcare setting. However, the cost has been decreased over time, enabling wider adoption. And lastly, interpretation challenges. The interpretation of OCT image requires specialized training and expertise. So, interpreting the complex image data and distinguishing between normal and abnormal tissue structure can be challenging for less experienced clinicians. In summary, the primary purpose of optical fiber is to transmit light signal for long-distance communication. Its use extends beyond telecommunication to fuel such as medicine, data networking, cable television, industrial application, military, aerospace, and setting.